peanut butter cheesecake topped with Reese's Pieces and mini peanut butter cups. Oh, 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 and the crust is made from nut butters. My peanut butter lover's gonna love this. The first thing we're gonna do is make our crust. You're gonna need one family sized package of Nutter Butter Sandwich Cookies and one package because we're gonna use the whole package to make our crust. And I honestly haven't had a Nutter Butter in like years, so just for old time's sake, I'm gonna try one. And yeah, it's really good, it's pretty good. It's a lot of peanut butter taste. I definitely think we could do better, so maybe we'll do that in another video. Okay, so minus the one that I ate, and you can eat one too, we're gonna put all of our Nutter Butters into a food processor and we're going to crush them and grind them until they are a fine crumb. Add your Nutter Butter crumbs to a large bowl. Then we're gonna add five tablespoons of melted butter right to the crumbs. Mix that up until you sort of get like a wet, clumpy sand mixture. Then add that to a nine inch spring form cake pan. Take your time, you wanna evenly spread this out throughout the base of the pan you want to get it nice and even and flat once your crust is even on the bottom you want to take something that's flat on the bottom and sort of round it up on the sides like a measuring cup or a glass and use that to press some of your crust up on the side of your pan to create that border then we are going to bake our crust in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 8 to 10 minutes until it is firm then put it on the side to cool let's go over the ingredients for our cheesecake we're going to need four eight ounce blocks of cream cheese at room temperature you're going to need four large eggs also at room temperature also half a cup of sour cream also at room temperature you're going to need some vanilla extract one and one fourth cups of granulated sugar and one cup of creamy peanut butter as usual all the ingredients will be in the description below and if you're enjoying the video and you like what you see so far make sure to like comment and subscribe first thing on the to-do list add all of your room temperature cream cheese to a mixing bowl and add your one cup of peanut butter add that to your stand mixer with the paddle attachment and you're going to mix this for about 30 seconds on medium speed after that stop to scrape down the sides of the bowl then mix this again for another 30 seconds then we're going to add the sugar the sour cream and two heavy handed teaspoons of vanilla extract. Let that mix on medium speed until everything is just barely combined. Crack all four of your eggs into a separate container, whisk those up, and then slowly add them to your mixture while you're mixing on low speed. Do this until all the eggs are incorporated. After all your eggs are mixed in, your cheesecake batter should look pretty smooth. Now you're going to want to release some of those air bubbles that are trapped in your cheesecake batter so you can either tap it on the counter a few times or if you have neighbors and you don't want Want them to hate you just tap it on the bottom a few times like i'm doing pour your cheesecake batter into your prepared crust then it's time to bake now the baking method i like to use is for a no water bath method it comes from lawrencelatest.com i'll leave a link to her website in the description below and i'll write out the full baking directions in the description below now after your cheesecake has baked and cooled in the fridge overnight which it has for us it should be the next day which it is for us i have a piping bag with my wilton 1m tip and in that piping bag i have half vanilla buttercream and half chocolate buttercream Links also in the description if you need recipes for those as well. And from there, I'm going to go around the outer perimeter with my design. And they sort of look like little Hershey Kisses. I'm sure this design has some sort of exact name. If there's any bakers here, let me know in the comments what this type of design is called. And once our design is done, all around the top, we're going to decorate with some candies. We got some Reese's Pieces, of course, one of the best peanut butter candies in my opinion. And some of these mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. The Reese's Pieces, I'm just going to make a border going around the perimeter in front of our buttercream. As for our mini chocolate peanut butter cups, I'm I'm gonna go in and drop one eh, every here and there here and there you know spice it up a bit boom 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 and that's it our peanut butter cheesecake is done looking good looking too good to be true you know i'm gonna have to dig into a piece of this and not about a crust especially you know i was more than excited to dig into this and let me tell you everything just melted into my mouth that peanut butter cheesecake was so delightful that crust especially is delicious you know i had to get a second piece but unfortunately that's it for this video that's it for me in this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one you know i will